How are offered traffic and throughput related? And here we've got a figure with offered traffic on the x-axis and throughput on the y-axis. And we're showing two curves, one for slotted Aloha protocol and one for 0.5 persistent CSMA. We'll mention these later, but let's first of all think about these axes. So what is throughput? Well, we're talking about a packet-based system, and for that scenario, the throughput is the fraction of successful packet slots. So you have slots uh, in the channel, and they can be either used or not used by users sending packets. And if they are used and the packet gets through successful, then it counts towards the throughput. But it's some slots aren't used and some are not successful. Now what about offered traffic? That's a slightly more uh, interesting to think about. The offered traffic is the packets per packet slot time. So actually this is the overall number of packets. So it's the packets that were successful, which counted towards throughput, plus the other packets that were used and necessary to repeat packets that were collided or in error, for example. So some of them go through and, and are successful, others need to be repeated. The total of all of that traffic is called the offered traffic. Now let's try to understand that and think about that before we come back to these graphs. Let's think about it in the case where we have a channel and we have two users. So in this case, uh, we've got uh, a scenario where if these users were perfectly coordinated, we could give them half of the channel resource each. And if there was no collision, that would mean no collisions. And if there was no noise, then the decoder would decode those packets perfectly and there'd be no need for retransmissions. So in this case, I, I call that no noise. So N with a bar means no noise and C with a bar over it means no collisions. So in no noise and no collisions, we would have the following rates at each of these points through this communication channel. So the channel, every slot would be being used. Uh, that's why we have a one at the output here. We have a half here because half of it would be used for this user and half for this. Uh, and then the uh, because there's no noise, the decoder would decode it correctly and you get be getting one packet out of here for every slot. And uh, we wouldn't need to have any uh, redundancy added into our packets. So the data can be coming to the users at the same rate that the users are putting it into the channel. So this is why we have a half here. And we interestingly, we need to start thinking about fractions for our rates. It's not like megabits per second. We're now talking about packets per packet slot time. So it's always going to be fractions that we're talking about. Let's think about another scenario to help us understand, especially this offered traffic. So let's think about a scenario where there is noise. So we've got, we, let's still think about no collisions, so perfect coordination, but let's think when there's noise. And in this case, not all of the data can go through the channel absolutely correctly. So therefore the data that the user has and wants to send, they need to send at a higher rate into the channel because they need to add redundancy into their system. For example, hybrid ARQ, uh, where you have to send extra packets. Any packets that don't get through, you need to resend those packets. So the packet rate here needs to be higher than the packet rate here. So in this scenario, you'll have less than one packet coming successfully per slot. That means the throughput will be less than one. So this is the throughput, the overall throughput here on the right-hand side. And this is the per user throughput on the left-hand side. So they are only gonna be able to send less than half of a packet per slot uh, because they'll need to have some packets available in their allocation for the repeated packets for the ones that came in error. So here we have where every channel slot is still being used. So we've got one here, but the output, as we're saying, the throughput is less than one. So the offered traffic, the offered traffic is still one, but the throughput is now less than one. Now that's an important uh, way to start thinking about offered traffic and throughput. Let's think of another one. Let's think when there's noise and collisions. Well, in this case, you, are going to have a definitely a throughput less than one and so you can send less than half but now if there are collisions then you can't be guaranteeing half the slots per user and so some of them will be colliding and so a slot will go missing uh, maybe have a collision and in this case you're definitely going to have an offered traffic 
of less than one. And per user, it will be less than one half. So hopefully these numbers and these scenarios are helping to give you an insight into offered traffic and its relationship to throughput. Well, let's think about a specific scenario here. Let's think about this curve here, the slotted Aloha curve. So for slotted Aloha, we have the following formula for the, th the throughput. So the throughput in slotted Aloha, I won't go into all of the details of the protocol, but in slotted Aloha, you, each user has packets to send, but they only send their packets with probability P. So it's not coordinated, it's now random access of the channel. And so there's a possibility for collisions. So probability P, the user is going to send, and it only gets through successfully. So now we're thinking about throughput. It only gets through successfully if all of the other users don't try to send. So there's no collision. So that's probability P for the user of interest and one minus P for the other users uh, multiplied by each other with N minus one of them because there's N users in total. So that would be the throughput for one user and then you multiply by capital N and that gives you the overall throughput. That's this value here. So now we can see this value is on the vertical axis. Well, what about the offered traffic? Well, in slotted Aloha, the offered traffic, which we call G, the offered traffic equals N times P. So just to think about that for a minute, we've got always these users have packets to send. They're either new packets or they're repeated packets because of collisions. Uh, then the actual uh, offered traffic is going to be the new ones plus the, the repeats, but actually in this case, it equals N times P. And you can confirm that for yourself by writing down the probability of a retransmission uh, and it comes out to N times P. So this is in slotted Aloha, G equals N times P. And it's interesting to think about what this point here in the offered traffic when it equals one, well, that is corresponds to a value of P equals one on N. And don't forget P is the probability of sending. That's a tunable parameter. And we want to find the optimal throughput. So we would like to try to optimize P. And that's this value here at the peak of this curve. Let's think about this curve just for a minute. Why does it go up and then come down again? Well, because uh, if you're sending an offering traffic at a very low rate from the users, then there's not going to be very many collisions. So you can start increasing that offered traffic rate and you're not going to get too many collisions. It's almost all new packets coming through. And so your throughput will start going up until you get to a point where you start getting collisions. And when you start getting collisions, that's going to cause your throughput to start coming down again. And the more offered traffic, so the more traffic the users try to send, the more collisions there will be. And so the throughput will start coming down. So that tells you about the shape of this curve. Interestingly, under some assumptions, which we're not going to go into here, uh, you have this exact curve. And this curve is given by this formula under those assumptions about slotted Aloha in modeling. And interestingly, this peak is a value of one divided by E. This is the exponential here, one on E. Well, that is 0.37. So what that tells us is the optimal throughput is when you pick P to be one on N. And for that, you could think about that. If it wasn't randomized, you could actually put your offered traffic at one on N through successfully. If it wasn't randomized, if you had full coordination, then every one of those packets could get through without a collision because there's one there's n users so if you have one on n per user you could organize it so that they just went through all of the users in order and then your throughput would be equal to one but when you don't have the ability to coordinate amongst the users and you have to randomly access the channel then the throughput is if you use slot at aloha the throughput is only 0.37 so that means 37 percent of the packets go through successfully. It can also be shown that in slotted Aloha, 37% of these slots actually are empty because none of the users choose to send their packets according to the randomized protocol. And that's a lot of empty slots. And we start thinking maybe we can do better than that. The other 26% have collisions and that's where packets have collided. So let's start thinking, I wonder, can we do better than the slotted Aloha? And in fact, we can. Here's another curve. This curve here is for what's called 0.5 persistent CSMA. We won't go into all the details of the protocol here, 
But for this case, for 0.5 persistent CSMA, the load is actually, the, the offered traffic is actually best to be bigger than one, actually around two for this particular protocol. And what that means is even if you had perfect coordination, you could not expect to send that many packets without collisions. Uh, you couldn't do it even if you coordinated them. However, in the randomized, it's a, it, it turns out for this protocol, it's a good idea to send at that higher rate of offered traffic, uh, even though you're going to get more collisions than the 26% from slotted Aloha, but actually you don't get so many empty slots. And overall, the throughput improves and is better even than slotted Aloha. And this is up to 0.7 uh, throughput. So if this video is giving you uh, more insights into offered traffic and throughput, please give it a thumbs up, it helps others to find the video. Check out the description below where you'll find a web page with a categorized listing of all the videos on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos.